my right hand and my right arm work like this through here. So there it is, there it is, there it is. Yeah. It's not doing any, it's not getting here going like that. Yep. Okay, now when, when I do that, people go, well, if you're gonna do that, then what's gonna happen is when you get to the top of your swing, you're gonna have a shut face. Well, I go, well, no, here's the top of my swing, where's the face? They go, well, it's, it's good. It's good, yeah. Well, see, here's what's happened. I go here, now as I go to the top of the swing, what happens is my arm rotates in my shoulder socket. See, another big misconception is that you want your forearms to be twisting. No, you don't want your forearms rotating. Right. Minimal forearm rotation is really good. So it goes like this. As I go to the top, my arm externally rotates in my shoulder socket. Yep. Now where's the face? Neutral. But what has my right wrist done? Now yep. it has a little up and down, but it's basically just doing this. Yep. That's all I feel my wrist doing. Yep. Now, when I start down, my arm internally rotates in my shoulder socket, and where's my wrist? Yeah, totally and then it goes like that. So it goes boom, 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 throw. Okay, the last video in our Mike Malaska video series, make sure you watch the previous two from a couple of days ago. If you haven't, today, we're talking right arm and right wrist. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, Mike, so let's talk about the role of the right arm uh, and right wrist in the swing. Okay. We've done a bunch of videos on right wrist, right arm, and I know you've done a, a bunch of videos on them. Yeah. And so I think kind of starting right from the setup and then whatever we think is relevant during backswing and downswing, okay. big picture concepts. I'm gonna hand the mic over and <laughs> flip flop spots and we'll rock and roll. All right, roll. So, so what I have here, first of all, Eric, I got this little contraption. Yeah. So this is a glove where I've stuck a, a rod through it. A, and what it is, it shows my wrist. People have a hard time visualizing wrist. Uh, okay, yeah. So let's talk about body mechanics and, and forces. So when I throw a baseball, yeah. this is how I throw a baseball. So you see this rod, the rod's not, it's staying like this. It's not doing this. Yes. Okay, but yeah. what's, see my wrist is doing this. Yeah. If I shoot a basketball, Yeah. okay, yeah. it doesn't do this. No. Nope. If I throw a bowling ball, yep. it doesn't do right. this. Well, guess what? When I hit a golf ball, it doesn't have to do this. Got it. Now that is a way to play. Yep. The problem is when you add a lot of forearm rotation like this, to time all of that forearm rotation to get your forearm to line up with the back of the shaft and your hand in the right position, this killed me as a player. Because when I came to this game, I played golf like this. Yep. And they said I had a shut face with a throw release. So they said, well, here's what you got to do. You got to get the toe up and get the toe up. Well, now what's this doing? That, yeah. and plus they weaken my grip, which this will be, that'll be another video. But yeah. here's, here's what my right hand is doing. My right hand and my right arm work like this through here. So there it is, there it is, there it is. Yeah. It's not doing any, it's not getting here going like that. Yep. Okay, now when, when I do that, people go, well, if you're gonna do that, then what's gonna happen is when you get to the top of your swing, you're gonna have a shut face. Well, I go, well, no, here's the top of my swing, where's the face? They go, well, it's, it's good. It's good, yeah. Well, see, here's what's happened. I go here, now as I go to the top of the swing, what happens is my arm rotates in my shoulder socket. See, another big misconception is that you want your forearms to be twisting. No, you don't want your forearms rotating. Right. Minimal forearm rotation is really good. So it goes like this. As I go to the top, my arm externally rotates in my shoulder socket. Yep. Now where's the face? Neutral. But what has my right wrist done? Now yeah. it has a little up and down, but it's basically just doing this. Yep. That's all I feel my wrist doing. Yep. Now when I start down, my arm internally rotates in my shoulder socket, and where's my wrist? Yeah, totally and then it goes like that. So it goes boom, 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 throw. And when you do that, Mike, if you do, if you take your setup and do the, if you could do the initial takeaway part one more time. So when you're doing this here and kind of what I would explain with that, which to me would be the easiest way to do it, this would be a little bit more of a kind of palm down ish, yeah. right? Yeah. Not that forearm rotation this no. way. And then that makes the face when you're looking at your takeaway position, tilt, which is square, right? Tilted down some yeah. amount, not, not here with the forearm rotation. Yeah, no, no. See what you want the club in this part, you want the face. Let me do it with this bigger yeah, yeah, club so yeah. people can see it. If we had a target line, we'll yeah. use your club as a target line. So this is a target line. Let's put it back here. Yeah. Okay, so my club goes like this. 
Yep. So the club face is at a 90 degree angle to my swing arc. Yep. Relative to the target line, it appears that my club face has opened. Yep. It has opened to the target line, but it's at a 90 degree angle to my swing arc. Now, as I go up to the top and my arm externally rotates in my shoulder socket, now the face is square, square. to my left arm. It's not shut. Yep. And then when I start down, I go like this, and when it gets right there, where is it again? Well, it's back at a 90 degree angle to my swing arc at waist high. It comes into the ball, it's closing on the target line, but it's staying at a 90 degree angle to my swing arc to right there. Yep. If you do that, you can't hit it offline. Yeah. It, 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 there's, it, the ball doesn't curve much. Yep. When you get in trouble, or when it, the timing comes in, is when all of a sudden, toe up, hold the angle this way instead mm -hmm. of this way. Yeah. I mean, lag, you can't lag the club too much if you lag it like this. Yes. Yep. Because all it would do is hit the ball low. Yep. But if you lag the club this way with your palm here and you're late, I mean, you hit it right, left, everywhere. And I think two key checkpoints, because obviously the way that you're going to release the club yeah. has to do with where your club faces in space. No question. Right? And so this sort of model in, in videos, I would say, you know, if the face is tilted down, right. like I would call that, let's say at, at first parallel, yeah. and you can get it during the downswing pattern back into sort of the same spot, yeah. that sets you up to be able to do all of this no question and so if a golfer comes in and i know you and i see a lot of the same stuff yeah and they have that toe pointed up whether it's here up here early on especially during the downswing pattern if they if they make this this is why shallowing the club bothers me yeah with a lot of players because when they shallow the club they also palm paces up and the face gets right here yeah and you, they can't release it like that then well Good luck catching this one up. Yeah, gotcha. I don't care how good you are with your body, there's going to have to be some of that. And when you start adding that rotation, if you're playing somebody who's doing this through the ball, okay, and they're yep. hitting it, and you're doing this through the ball, yeah. I can promise you who I'm betting on. Right, me too, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's, you know, Dustin Johnson, Kepka, all these guys now are getting the club like this because they're understanding the physics of the club face being at a 90 degree angle to their swing arc and their right hand now they don't rotate it they exactly. for lack of a better term they throw yep well throw is where you have the most speed in your wrist if i went to throw a ball and i tried to twist my arm as i threw it it would yeah. slow this down yeah and so good luck hitting me when you're doing so that they're too, not right? doing anything that gets in the way of this action yeah because boom that's where you have boom that's where you have the most speed gotcha so if i can create that, yeah. I got a lot of speed with no face rotation. And you and I, Mike, I want to hop in there for a second. Sure. I think two, two things I'd like to ask you about, okay. um, which are right along with the same things, I think as a checkpoint thing, right? Yeah. You know, something I used to always see before I get to the checkpoint thing, and I, and I didn't know enough at the time, and I used to see it via grip, and I, it's yeah. still true, but, and your story about how you had a stronger grip went to weak, I went through the same exact thing. I had a stronger grip pattern, and I had a release pattern that was exactly like you mentioned, because yeah. I had the face ready to do that. Yeah. I went into a weaker grip pattern, was yeah. taught into. I got toe up, toe up, and then I have a ton of roll. And I see that across the board. Younger players especially who never taught anything, who have stronger grips in particular, yeah. and have the face more tilted down yeah. via the grip, yeah. the release patterns are awesome. Yeah. Right. And so I think when people come, obviously there's always prerequisites, all this stuff. Like you got to, sure. you know, there's a grip pattern that's in here. Right. But I think as a checkpoint, if someone has never heard this before, wants yeah. to have a more passive release style, having the club face tilted down kind of when it's parallel to the ground right. would be an excellent checkpoint that yep. you mentioned. And then as I'm starting to work back down, getting it back right. into that right same th tilted down. That's exactly right. And starting with that yes. to get that. And if I were going to practice that, Mike, and I came in and we were doing a lesson, let's say, and I had my toe up pattern, which, which I've had. Are you starting off, you someone like what I would do, you know, I'm kind of like feeling this, coming back, feeling that back down, and starting to hit some little shorties. I'm gonna make sure first that your lead arm grip is neutral for yours so your joints line up so you don't have to twist. Gotcha. I'm gonna start, if you've got a lot of twist in the face, the first thing I'm gonna check is to see if this left hand grip matches how your joints line up, which is another thing a lot of people don't understand in golf. Yeah. How your joints line up under force, because this arm's role yeah. should be to stabilize and square the face. Yeah. This arm's role should be to pressure the shaft and accelerate the club head. Gotcha. But if all of a sudden your grip's weak in this hand, yeah. for your joints, 
and you pull and your hand goes this way, well now the face is open so this arm's roll now has to be to try to twist to catch it up. That's a beautiful point. Okay, so I, I would start with grip, make sure your grip fits you. Okay. And then I would start with, once your grip's right, yep. okay, put your right hand on there. Then I'd have you, we gotta get this off now. So now what I would do is I'd say, okay, here's what we're gonna do. You take the club back to right there. You just stop right there. We got a ball and a tee. Yep. Then I'd have you from there, just take your right hand, just hit the ball and release it like that. And just yep. hit a chip shot from, from that position, from right there. Now just hit it forward. Just do that and feel how your hands work to hit it from there. Like if you put someone in an athletic situation where they have the face here and yeah. the target's there, and I need to learn, and we didn't even tell them anything about what to do through here, but they were in this position, that's the way they would need to release it to hit a ball straight. It's not like you're asking them to do anything more than no. this is what it is. Right. Versus, hey, now now go no. and release it. Well, you're going to go this way. Well, that's why that's the biggest reason people cast. Yeah, yeah. We grip with an open face, and they're trying to catch the face up, and they think this is going to catch it up. Uh, that's what we. I mean, we we did a couple of videos about the right hand. It got to the point where I'm saying, listen, as a feel wise, face here. I, I like people to start to get the face pointed towards the camera. No question. And then even as I'm starting to work back down. Yes. And, and because from that position there, if I have any kind of eye-hand coordination to hit at a target, my release pattern and all that. See, cetera, most all these guys on tour, if they have weak grips and they open the face, take a hold of it. If they have fairly weak grips and yeah. they get the face open, the first move they make down out of the top is they go like that with yeah, their exactly. wrists. They don't go like this. No. Because <laughs> there isn't anybody who's any good who has the face right there at that point. No. There's a few that are about right here. The majority of guys now are right here. Yep. Exactly. So your right hand, here's what your right hand. So this is another thing I get people to do. I take their fingers like this. Yeah. I say, here's what my right hand does. It goes up here. Yeah. It comes right to there. Now, if your wrist is relaxed and I hold your fingers mm -hmm. and you go, what's going to happen? When I let your fingers go, your hand should just go. Yeah, I gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so just go. That's yep. what my golf swing feels like. So it goes boom, boom, that's it. Yeah. Game over. So the hand action, there's two different, there's two hand actions. One, your hands are working more this way. Yep. And the other, your hands and arms are working more this way. And what would you say is the primary thing that leads to that, that dictates which one? Well, this is more efficient for sure. Yeah. But the industry has been, has been forever, it's been open and close the face. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what everybody thought it was. Now, I didn't know that when I started, so I had this grip with a face there, with a face going here. And I hit it and it drew a little bit and I beat everybody. Right. And then as soon as they weakened my grip and got me doing this, yeah. I mean, I'd hit some good shots, but occasionally I'd make a swing and hit and I'd look up and the ball's going freaking sideways. Yeah. And then they'd say, well, just trust it, Mike. Just go to your happy place and just let it go. And I'd put the ball and do this. I'm going, well, that's not working for me. Yeah, I'm in my happy place. So I'm in my happy place. <laughs> I made a nice swing and the ball went sideways and I'm trying to make a cut and make a living. I gotta, I'm going to have to start manipulating the face. Yeah, exactly. And then as I started to manipulate the face, then I was, I was, my hands were good enough that wherever the club was, I could kind of figure out how to get it back through the ball yep. and get it in front of me. But I couldn't go at high speeds because yep. at high speeds, I lost control of the face. Yep, so how could you not? Right? There was too much twisting. Yeah, exactly. So it becomes, you want to play golf this way, which is doable, or do you want to play this way? I mean, for me, it, there, it's no contest through yep. the ball. I'd rather play this way and play like this. That's way too much timing involved in that. It's a speed producer, but you give up control. Beautiful. I think get the club face in order. Yes. Match the release pattern or uh, hand action to it. Yeah. I'm going to work on that. And uh, I love it. That was beautiful. Thank Good you, job, sir. pal. That was perfect. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. To see more from Mike, go ahead and click the link down in the description below to see Malaska Golf. Also, if you did like this video, go ahead and watch the two videos here on the screen. They're gonna help you learn more about this topic. If you liked it, click the like button down below, click the notification bell, and please subscribe.